Hey lovelies, welcome back to Bluey's Creations. Today I'm going to show you what you can do with acetate and vellum. So if that interests you, then keep watching. Okay, so for the video, I'm actually going to do it in my personal size. Um, and I just wanted to quickly show you for those who are wanting to do the vellum or the acetate in a personal, it's 9.5 centimeters by 17.1 centimeters. That's just what I measured. Um, for a B6, it's 17.5 centimeters by 12.5 centimeters. And for a large A5, you're looking at a 21 centimeters by 14.5 centimeters. So those are the measurements. If you need to pause the video so that way you can see it. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm going to go straight in. I'm going to pick out the acetate and vellum that I would like in my personal size at the moment. Um, and as you can see, this is my go-to place for my, you know, all my papers and vellum and stuff like that. So this is actually perfect example. Um, this is the um, acetate with the vellum. Oh my god, that looks so beautiful. And this is a B6 size. It just looks so beautiful. I love it. Um, and this is what we're going to be making today. But I'm going to show you how to make it in this video now. So first up, we are going to do a mermaid one. I've been wanting to do this one for a while, so I'm quite excited to do it. I will probably not do the uh, vellum in a personal size because I don't think it will actually work because of how long she is. Hang on, just give me a moment. What is it? 9.5 right there, which means it would cut probably off her hand. Oh, I wish I had another. Um, here we go. Let's see if that kind of works. Oh my god, we might actually, <gasps> it might actually work. Oh, yes. So then I can have her in my planner. Yes. Okay, all right, now I'm a little excited. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the vellum and the acetate in the personal size. Um, and I will show you how it goes. Okay, so as you can see, oh my god, all, <laughs> it looks amazing already. I'm so keen to put it in my planner. Um, and I love how her hand is actually just touching the side of the paper. And it kind of is like, oh my god, what is, what is she going to? I know it sounds silly, but it actually looks really cool. So I'm really, really happy I found a way of being able to put her in my planner now. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the acetate now, which is gonna look so good. Oh, I can't wait, even if it's behind, but in front, oh, it's gonna look so good. Okay, let's get into it. Just a quick thing. So with acetate, I found that you will have to, if you're using a pencil, go over it like constantly just to get some kind of line in the background. See how you can only just see it. Um, and it does make it very difficult to cut out. But I did find a way of doing it, um, which was with a, where is it? Where did my pen go? 
Um, yeah, so I use this pen. It is a permanent marker and it is pink, yes. But I did find a way, like a little loophole, that you can actually rub this off the acetate, which is excellent. I haven't had any problems so far, but I just wanted to show you that. If you go pencil, you will probably need to make sure that um, when you're drawing it, have at least like white, white paper underneath so you can actually see it. But you will have to go over a couple of times with your pencil because it will not stay on there um, and can easily be rubbed off. But if not, you can use permanent pen um, marker. So I will show you how that works. Just another little tip for you guys, if you are cutting this out, definitely take your time because you will, no joke, stuff it up. Um, vellum, it, uh, sorry, not vellum, acetate is really, really hard to get right when you are cutting. So you just take your time um, when you do this because you will stuff it up and you've only got one chance and one shot at getting it right. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I do. Now that, as you can see, the pink on the sides, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and rub that out, and um, then you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see, no pink line now. No pink line at all. Um, so with the rubber, I'll show you actually, I should have showed you before where I rubbed it off, but when you rub it, your rubber is going to make that kind of a mark. I'm not sure if it's going to show up on the camera, but it will make like this white smudge kind of thing, but you can easily just do this and it goes away just like with a few couple of rubs um, and then it's gone. So yeah, that is how you do this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and punch the holes in it. Again, like I said, acetate is a mongrel to actually hole punch, so make sure you get it right. Um, when you cut, hole punch, all that jazz, just, just take your time. <laughs> And hey presto, there's your vellum. Nope, not vellum. <laughs> That's vellum, acetate, it's all done. That is how quick and easy it is. Like I said, take your time when it comes to this stuff. To me, this acetate and vellum is like gold to me because you cannot find this stuff in shops or anywhere. I get it through Planners Anonymous, um, which is why I subscribe because they had this pretty stuff and I was like, hell to the yes, please. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I I'm, uh, I love this stuff and I'm so glad that I have this because making it is pretty simple and easy for that little bit of decoration in your planner, which is, oh my God, that looks so pretty. It just makes it look so good in your planner um, just to have something nice and make it look a bit more pretty instead of boring. Wow. Oh my God, I cannot wait to put that in my planner. Oh, I'm so in love. Oh, yay. Okay, so that's how you do it, guys. Okay, so to move on, um, for the last thing that I wanted to show you what you can do with your acetate or vellum. Now, I do have... I'll pull it out of my planner. So I've got this one as well. It is... So what I've made is actually a bookmark for my planner. Um, and I'll show you on a blank page. So this is what... It looks like if those of you have no idea what I'm talking about it is just a planner bookmark basically and I put a little label there saying today and it just gives it that it looks nice and this is what I usually do with my leftover vellum um, acetate um, just so I have you know it's not going to waste and like I said to you guys it's like gold to me and I love this stuff um, you could probably use it with vellum, um, like, oh my god, that's going to look so good in my planner. You could probably use vellum, but again, 
Vellum is very thin kind of paper. Like I said, it's like almost the same as baking paper where it's quite thin and it could rip. Whereas vellum, um, acetate, it will actually work. It'll, it won't get ruined. You can put your labels on it and then you can pull them off. It will not ruin them at all. So I'm going to show you that the way I did this. So I'm just going to grab my leftover paper from the uh, mermaid box. Um, oh, actually it's called, what is it called? Whale Song. So I'm just going to grab this because I did need another one, so why not? Um, and what I'm going to do is probably just trace around it because why not? I am allowed to do that. So I'll trace around this just so it makes it easier. Actually, you know what, right now. I'll measure it so that way you guys can find out how long this is. Now this will fit in your personal and your B6. A5, I'm not sure um, if, I don't think it will fit at all. Um, but I mean, you can just move it up one if you really need to. I suppose that would work um, in your planner. But yeah, let's get go ahead. I'll measure this out for you guys. So this is the way I would do it. Um, so that is, oh, I sh wish I made that even, oh wait, maybe it's two and a half inches, if you've got a ruler that is inches, by seven, two, three, so point, 7.3 inches, okay? So that is the measurements in inches, in centimeters. I don't really, it doesn't line up exact, but you could always go, so 18.5 centimeters by, let's just round it up to six centimeters. So you could do it that way. Um, and I'll just show you how I did my little tab up the top. And no, I don't have a special tab puncher. I actually cut that out myself. So let's get straight into it. Just to make the last of this video a little bit quicker, I'm going to trace it. Um, but other than that, you would normally measure it out. So what I would normally do is, so how I got this tab, I'm gonna have to rub that out because the permanent marker got it. Um, what I did for my tab, I actually grabbed one of my dividers from my my actual kit um, and then I just traced it around. So I just grabbed it, popped it on there and then I traced around that just to give me that tab look because, well, you are allowed to do those things. <laughs> um, you are allowed to cheat a little bit when it comes to this technical kind of crap. But. Let's get into it. I'm going to cut it out and hole punch it just so you can see how it looks. That is how you make a little tab divider um, for your planner. So this will fit, like I said, your planner, uh, your personal and your medium. Uh, that's the same thing. It will fit your personal or your B6 planner. Um, and oh, this looks so beautiful and it's going to match this so well. And I didn't realize um, that it actually cut out the scales perfect. Um, so, and like I said, I keep all of my scraps. This will actually fit a B6 size in my planner. So that will come in handy. So it's not going to go to waste. This, I will probably come up with something. Don't know what, but I will figure it out. It'll be some sort of thing that I will use it for. But that is how you make your tabs. Um, 
and your, I'm just trying to grab it all out for you all. Let me place it all down first. I'll even pull out the B6 one because they just look so beautiful as well. Um, but yeah, so there you have it guys. That is how you make dashboards or planner tab dividers that will work for you um, in your planner. Like I said, vellum, uh, sorry, not vellum, acetate works wonders when it comes to the dividers, whereas the vellum does not as it will rip. Um, but that is how you make it. It just looks so beautiful. I cannot wait to have this in my planner already. And I hope you all love this video just as much as I did creating it. And I will see you for another one. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to also like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Make sure you be positive and give love. Bye.